<laughs> what are we doing? Well, we're here. We're here. We're here. Today, <laughs> we are at Riverwood Aquatics. Where are you? This is Pete. This is the owner. Hello. Hey, on, Pete. Let me grab this. Looks like an interview. I need a fork or something. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, where are we? We're in Suffolk, a little village called Assington, near Sudbury. Awesome. Uh, the reason I ask is... We... <laughs> oh, perfect. There we go. See, this is why Matt is brilliant. He just comes up with all the goods. <laughs> no, it's all right. Um, the reason I don't know is because we've just driven for four and a half hours. And just, yeah. <laughs> and then we're here and then straight away. This is weird. I like it, though. I think it's good. I think I like... you should do all of them like that. <laughs> yeah. Can I take this with me? <laughs> this is my new mic. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah, this is a uh, sort of specialist aquascaping shop. Would you call it that? Yeah, specialist? Yeah. Specialist. Sorry. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but um, there's some displays inside, but there's a lots of... Do you do a lot of online? Also? Yeah, no, I suppose mostly online, but yeah, get okay. a few people come in, yeah. Absolutely. So behind us, we've got some um, like tank stuff we can show you around. And then behind the camera there, there's a massive polytunnel, which has got all the big hardscape. That's your thing? Would you say? Yeah, yeah, focus on the wood and the rocks. Yeah. Nice. Well, we'll show you that in a bit because we want to pick out a load of stuff for all of the new scapes or tanks that are empty. And there's quite a few now. So ready. Oh, no, you don't need that. I don't you need know. one. I've got my own mic. It's all good. <laughs> I'd be the worst interview ever. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, let's have a look. So don't be fooled by this beautiful sunshine. It's, it's not quite as warm as it looks, is it? No. It's, it's turned. It's still very cold. The weather cold. has turned. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's still nice. Uh, this is the entrance. Right, Pete. Yeah. <laughs> Let me show you the sign. What a lovely sign. Riverwood. Who come up with that? Uh, that's my design. Yeah? yeah? Yeah. And you come up with the name Riverwood and everything like that. Yeah, Makes yeah. sense. Yeah. But um, yeah, let's go on in. Have a look. <gasps> Matt, are you going to lead the way? No, I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> okay, what a lovely entrance. Straight away, we're greeted by a ton of products. But then I guess. This it looks to us like a ton of products, but I guess to you, Pete, do you select a specific range that you sort of, sort of say trust or believe in? Yeah, you should say? Yeah, I, I... Most of the stuff that I sell, I've used or do use. Yeah. So yeah, it's all sort of trust is. Okay. I'll, 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 I've not used this stuff yet, but I'm very keen to because look at that. It's like you just chuck that in, don't you? Proper like I'm botanicals already... bag sort of thing. Yeah. Nice selection of rocks and stuff down here. Um, oh, oh my goodness. So over the top there, I can see that bowl. It's wicked, isn't I'm it? I'm drawn to a bowl. Look at the size of that, Pete. Where did you get that? Uh, that's from one of the suppliers. They do an even bigger one than that. No. Really? Okay, well, I'm going to need a contact, please. <laughs> In fact, do you sell these? Uh, yes. Okay, I'm going to need one of those, please. <laughs> <laughs> two. We need two. Yeah, you... definitely. I'm so close. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah, that looks wicked. I love that. Look, very, very simple plants and not a massively high bright light because it's not needed. I'm guessing you basically do no maintenance on this, yeah? Yeah, low maintenance. It has got a filter in it and a heater. Oh, get you. Tucked away, yeah. <laughs> 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 That's brilliant. So you've got fast growing plants in the limnophila there, and then there's a polysperm at the back as well. Remember, this is what I say to you guys, always use those two plants if you want like fast growing and low maintenance and then you can add other stuff later on but to get it going they work really well what fish have we got here we've got some honey grammy yeah honey, honey grammy some little chili rasbora or phoenix rasbora oh yeah don't know which ones they are i always get lost in those little group of like three different species yeah, they look well, so similar. one's got a spot one's got a stripe one's more red <laughs> and then the crypt albeda down there i yeah. love that plant it's one of my favorites at the moment for yeah. some strange reason because it doesn't grow everywhere instantly yeah valid yeah oh, i love the little panda gara as well and look on the rock well yeah didn't even see that little i wouldn't say well, little. the bowl adds a bit of size that's, that's true it yeah it's the bend of the bowl <laughs> <laughs> and then yeah obviously desk area and then <laughs> that's a working shop, working, though, that is. working area, working area. So this is this is like a de oh, it's aquil, aqua, aquail, aqui It's a tank. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cool. High tech setup. Yeah, would you call that? Yeah, yeah. High tech CO two. Nice. Oh, look at this. That's well <laughs> fancy, isn't it? Okay, we just we just zoom in on this for like twenty five minutes. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about anything else. Yeah, so we've got. Um, is that Hatra or is that? Yeah, yeah. yeah, so the recent trim, so it's just coming back. Yeah. What's this plant down here then, Pete? Anubius mini coin. Oh, okay. Oh, that's nice. That's really cool. I like that. It looked a little bit like li uh, 
Lobelia Cardinalis. Yeah, that one. But it's not, because it's it's because it's not that. It's a really nice little plant, actually. <laughs> yeah, I like this. Very simple setup. Like you've just got one piece of wood. I'm guessing one yeah, piece. One piece yeah. And then a retaining wall, and then a nice beached front, and then I'm guessing a lot of soil around the back. Not a lot, but you know, Fair enough. enough, enough. Oh, this see, this is what I need to. We need to move into, Matt. Yeah, I'm liking this sort of. Like, it's just different, isn't it? I like how you've added the extra light down here, Pete, just to, not that it's showing up on camera, but there we go. Is there any, there anything? There. Oh, what's that? that? It's made some noise. It shouldn't make that noise. It's a <laughs> listing system. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> yeah, cool. So, yeah, it's just like a fog system that goes on the back and just... The fish has just come to the front. Yeah, fire yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, look. Whoa, it's massive. Yeah, it's a wild factor. He is chunky. Yeah, it's taking a real big look at me. He's hiding, he's hiding. He's uh, he's just chilled, it's fine. What, cool dude. What's this? RO water, yeah, yeah there we go. My water changes. No, oh, you use all RO? RO and tap mixed. Okay, I'm it's a- Keep it in there to keep it warm because I've got no like, hot water system it. Makes sense, makes yeah. sense. Is the RO, do you remineralize with the tap? Is that the idea? Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Because the water's really hard here. So that halves it effectively, yeah? Okay, yeah. And you found that that works perfectly, so. Yeah, it works well, yeah. Yeah, nice. Okay, moving round. We've got more, oh, look, I, yeah, these, these, this is a good idea, this, actually, yeah. from Denelay, because you don't need a full box half the time, do you? Just for a little bit of decorative sand, and it, it just keeps it more affordable for people and that kind of thing. Yeah, nice work. Oh, this is cute. Might need one of them. <laughs> a wicked little one. Oh, are these those new ones from Chihiros? I quite like those as well. Oh, they're gonna, I'm gonna be picking everything in a minute. <laughs> I'm not surprised. There's some cool stuff here. Okay, then we swing around. We've got um, what? I don't know what what are, lit mini terrariums, I guess. Yeah, terrariums. And um, I guess you don't really do anything. Not really. Give them a mist every now and again. Maybe once every two weeks. Oh, they're, they're, I'd kill it then. Yeah. We struggle to keep house plants alive. No, I'm on it now. I'm on it. I've only been there two weeks. I've watered everything in sight now, so yeah, it's fine. We did have to buy a specialist tool to remind us. Well, yeah, <laughs> yeah. But it, we're on it now. We're fine. But a few things like this dotted around the studio, actually. Things like this, though, maintain themselves a little bit easier because they're like a built-in ecosystem. The 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 humidity and everything and the sort of water stays in there. So I, yeah. I think they are easier to maintain like this. So Pete, is it just one plug? And that does everything. Yeah, one, it's a USB plug, so it just plugs into into the light. You've got little vents. Some of them have got a little fan in the top as well. Okay. Keep, it clear. keep the keep. Oh, of course, yeah. Yeah, because that would annoy me. But of course, this one I guess gets misted. Uh, yeah, it does. But also the humidity is trapped in, and it sort of builds up and then drips back down. Ah, oh, that's quite clever. Oh, I see. Like, like off like of a, that. Like a belled top. Yeah, and it kind of directs the water back down into the terrarium. That's yeah, that is clever, because it's going to naturally move that way, isn't it? Mm. Oh, nice. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Yeah, maybe we can do something like that. Yeah, we'd need a big one for the Monsteras, wouldn't we? <laughs> you would have to do a custom one. Yeah, we'll just we'll glass off one of the little indents. It'll be fine. Oh, yes. Yeah. We could do that. Yeah. I'm not sure my landlord will be happy, but... <laughs> You know, it'll we'll be fine. Uh, we'll just, we'll just lose the deposit. It's yeah, fine. we'll take it out when we leave. It's fine. And this is a this is a cool little oh, yeah. little. <laughs> this is this is a cool massive section <laughs> next to that for your plug. So, how often do you get uh, deliveries, Pete? Normally twice a week. Yeah. Wednesdays nice. and Fridays. Okay. Okay. In terms of being able to select stuff to build in store, I'm guess you've always got a decent range here. What we've got here, all your favourites. <laughs> all your favourites. <laughs> Two for a pan. <laughs> no, they're a bit more than that, I guess, but... Yeah, yeah, just... yeah, yeah. Don't start selling them. You'll be rubbish at this. Two for a hundred. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, some nice ones in there, even after the weekend. There's some cool species. And then over this side, we have got an absolutely brilliant 90? Is it 90 centimetres? Oh, that's an odd. Oh, it's a wazi. Yeah, OK, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, it's Same not... one as I've got. It's not odd at all, is it? No. Nope. No, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's a real nice display we've got here. I'm loving these. Uh, are they a certain type of Emperor or are they just the common? Uh, I can't remember. Is it Palmeria all of a sudden? Yeah, I think that's like what, what would come under the standard Congo Tetra. 
So yeah, the males have the blue eyes. Congo? Are they Congo? Uh, Congo. I didn't say Congo. I didn't mean Congo at all. I said Emperor. I'll cut that out. Cut that I'll bit cut out. That out. Yeah. I definitely didn't say Congo. I'm not going to. Do you know why? Because I got it right and you got it wrong. Yeah, which is so, the first. Yeah, all right. Because I let, always get I'll it wrong. I'll let you have that one. <laughs> but yeah, the females get yellow eyes and the males get blue. So they're really wow. easy to tell apart. But that male is absolutely phenomenal. Yeah, can we get some of these? Yeah, I've got a group of um, the Rainbow Emperor Tetra at home that I want to bring into the studio anyway. Okay. Um, so yeah, they're just starting to colour up now. Awesome, so. and that pistogram as well. Is that, what, what's that one? Uh, the Master Eye? Yeah. Nice. There's always, there's always, I'm always a bit stuck between Vaita and McMaster Eye. It's yeah. always one of the two. <laughs> cool, we've got loads of boosters spreading nicely. This is a full CO2 system, of course. You opted to swap out the light, I see then. Um, any particular reason? Just to hear us is brighter light. Yeah, quality is light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that would this would be like the is this like the pro? Is there a pro yeah, version? Yeah, WRDB two pro. Because I've got the normal one and it doesn't hit the the bottom basically, right, okay. which works for me because I haven't got like stuff that needs it. Yeah. But um, but yeah, I, oh, I can't get over these. These yeah, embers look lovely. so good. You do need to keep the tank set up long enough, though, for them to colour up. That is the only problem. Yeah, I'm going to struggle with that then. Yeah, that is the problem. <laughs> you know the rules. They've got three you've, to six months. Yeah, you've got lots of four-foot tanks now, so I reckon I can no, keep we'll a couple fine. running. Exactly, yeah, exactly. It'll be fine. And, and I can just move them across to the eight-foots when they come. So, oh, yeah. yes. I'm getting, yeah, I'm getting... Wow. So, basically, the, I, would, I was going to opt for four four-foots... But we've already done that. So the other side, I'm going for two eight foots. They're getting them custom done, so they're like a decent height as well. So we can just go for like, we can go for the bigger species, but still do a fully aquascape setup, you know, so that there's like still giving that realness to the to the eight foot. So bigger fish, but still with like a underwater theme rather than just a fish tank, you know? An underwater theme in a fish well, tank, yeah. what a surprise. Wow, I'm on it today. <laughs> Natural habitat. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Look, it was an early start. It, <laughs> You've it been feels, driving. It feels like night time already. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this day's going to be long as well. We've, We've got, got to get a ferry at 10 o'clock. I'm already tired now. <laughs> it's, you've only had 15 cans of Monster this morning. No, That's no, I need, I've got another three in the car. Oh, It'll be yeah, fine. Yeah. By the time I you finish them up, off, you can I'm top golden. up. Okay. <laughs> And then next to this tank here, we've got like a little selection of fish. I guess you just go for your favourite aquascaping ones, babe? Yeah, that's it. Small species, plant friendly, aquascaping fish. Yeah, I've got a set for that one up there. What's that? So here's a couple of Garami dive re home. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. They're still quite a nice one. You know, it's not massive. Will that get massive? I don't think it'll get huge. No, they're, they're one of the, well, yeah, 15 centimetres, so. Bless them. They do look, he looks his age, that Pearl Garami. It's a Pearl Garami, yeah, I was going to say, he looks massive. He looks old, bless Thanks. him. Oh. But it comes to us all, <laughs> and they need to go somewhere. Yeah. You shouldn't flush them down the loo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, baby panda garras, look at them. They're so cute. Oh, look, and you've got one of these, Matt, haven't you? Yes, I've just, I've got the Air 60 that I really should set up at some point because I bought the plants for it and then they're slowly dying on my windowsill. Well, bring so. it to the studio if That's there's no space shout. at home. There's space, I've got space for it, it's just a effort. Okay, I've just, we've just <laughs> I got... I can't put fish in it. That's true. <laughs> so I'm a bit like, oh... I'll, you I'll can really... put fish in it. Yeah, well, yeah. Yeah, I could. Like yeah, that's it. No, the betters can breathe air, apparently. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's all good. Just a little puddle in the front, it'll be fine. <laughs> just flapping around. <laughs> well, you've got your, I've just got your desk for you, which Ooh. we've got to build when we get back. Yeah. So, can could, sit it on there. Yeah, we'll have a look. What yeah. colour's yours? Grey? Nah, sack it off. It's either white or grey. I can't remember which one. It's one of the two. Cool. And then next to that, we've got like a nice better section. I like this setup, what you've done here, Pete. Very, uh, very... Very simple. This is just an IKEA thing, isn't it? Yeah. 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 And they just fit as well. Like, was that planned or was that just a happy just, accident? Just lucky. Yeah. <laughs> and then you just got like these little are these little USB like yeah, lights? USB lights. It's just it's enough, isn't it? They don't need more than that. Yeah. And uh, the customers can see their favourite ones. Do you sell a lot of betters? A fair amount. Yeah. A little alien's cool. He's lovely. Again, so we're staring straight at me. And then next to this, we've got you can select your uh, filters and whatnot. So I guess you're a big fan of the Oase's um, Biomaster. I am too. I, I pretty much run those yeah, purely yeah, for yeah. that pre filter. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The pre filter, yeah, the heater, filter, beater. Just really incredible. So do you, do you heat the room or the tanks? Uh, a bit of both. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Get that balance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got like a full 
massive manta ray thingy. Yeah, yeah that front heats, of a car. Yeah, like you turn it on for two seconds, it heats the whole room up like, in no time. So that, yeah, I just have that ticket. It actually works out a lot cheaper. But yeah, and then a uh, little selection of uh, smaller tanks as well, because lots of people love nanos just because I find that whenever I make a, a nano video, it always does well because people can put it anywhere, even if they've got a flat. I don't think you need a landlord's permission. Probably no. dependent. They ain't gonna know, are they? No. They're not gonna know. Just, no. just do it. Just pop it in. It'll be pop fine. It up with a towel, yeah. yeah, exactly. Ask for forgiveness, <laughs> not permission. We've got a person who's got an IKEA unit in their house. Yeah. One of our, one of our regular customers. She, yeah. She cut out the fronts of all the IKEA boxes so that she can sit them in front of the tanks. Well, that wasn't so, for a landlord, so her dad didn't know. I think it was her dad, yeah. She, I think she watches, so she'll probably comment. But yeah, it's li oh no, <laughs> we might have just sold her a secret out. Oh yeah. It wasn't for her dad. She lives in a foreign country and she isn't anywhere near us. Yeah, at all. that's sort of, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, I want to move on to the hardscape section, please. Take us out there, Pete, because, uh, oh. Have you had a fresh delivery? Uh, yeah, we've had a few bits. In. <laughs> Whoa! Okay, we're gonna need a bigger car. Yes. Why didn't you bring yours as well? Because oh, that's Cut effort. That, that is cool, isn't it? That's not fitting in anything. Yeah, it would. The or, eight foot. Oh yeah, yeah. We'll have to come back. Yeah. Do you? Would you send all of these as well, Pete? If people order, even yeah. the biggest stuff. Uh, yeah. I mean, I can send it on pallets. I think. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's just obviously that comes with a cost, but yeah. it's got to, hasn't it? So. Um. Whoa. Those. Look Those, at that. They, they are perfect like as a group, aren't they? That is cool. Yes, we've got, oh, we've got loads. Look, everywhere you look, we've got different kinds of rock. Because I've, I've only got like a, quite a few similar rocks, haven't I? And, yeah. And this all just... We need to vary it a little diversify. bit. Diversify. Diversify the rock choice. And wood as, as well. We need a lot and more wood. wood. Yeah. I've got wood, but I'll... <laughs> ah, there it is. Just because the escaping area, I... wasn't it? That was, you walked through the tunnel and you were like, oh. I didn't have wood, but now I do. <laughs> um, I've got wood, but I want more options for like long, long pieces. Yeah, so yeah. like that manzanita is looking good. It's cool, isn't Not it? Not that particular piece, but you know. No, no, as just a like group. as a group and sort yeah. of just to, to add in, isn't it? There's so many. Oh, and you've got some of the twisty stuff that isn't going to kill all my fish as well. So but that's possibly, ideal. But possibly would, but possibly yeah. might not. <laughs> Who knows? It's always a, always a trial with that wood. Okay, so we've got um, all your substrates and everything as well. Um, that's good. I might need some of that. It's too much. There's too many things. Never have too much wood. No, that is, that is the problem, isn't it? <laughs> Gets you into trouble. <laughs> yeah, doesn't it just? Got all the Wio. Is it Wio? Why? Oh, yeah. Wio is Wio. That's how I say it. Yeah. I like that. What I like is this completely different sort of mixed grading. It does look real. And you do pay a premium, but then you, you only need one, really. And a lot of, well, unless you've got the eight foot. That might be a problem. <laughs> yeah. In which case, we're using something else. <laughs> Can I have 19 bags of that, please? <laughs> oh, there's too many. Yeah. I want some of these big ones. Look at that. Sold. Are you feeling horny? <laughs> so this is, that's not going in. It's like Maleficent. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to put on my head though. Or a reindeer. Or a reindeer. Oh yeah, that's much more seasonal specific. Oh, we can't be seasonal. Oh no, we can't. No, Don't we do can't. Seasonal, no, do we? doesn't work. What if someone watches it in August? Yeah. And then they'll be annoyed by the Don't, Christmas yeah. reference. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to have a look around and pick out some stuff. Thank you for showing us everywhere, Pete. And um, yeah, I've got to load up the car. So I've picked out a lot of the stuff that I want. Pete's just doing a sort of tot up now of the pricing and that. It's this, I had to go for it, this massive piece here, because, you know, I'm only here once. It's the other side of the country, so it'd be silly not to take full advantage. And then I also want nearly all of these. Is it elderly stone? Elderly, yeah, or Frodo. Frodo, yeah. is that, yeah, they're different. Are they not different, sorry? I, as far as I know, it's the same. There's the, yeah, there's, there's like a million names for it All probably comes stuff. from a different quarry. <laughs> it's probably like there's one quarry calls it one thing, one quarry calls it the other. So I'll go for this piece, this piece, this piece, this piece, and this piece. That should be pretty cool. Five, that works. So yeah, we've got just, some plans for that. Just need a tank to put them in now. <laughs> I've got loads of tanks for it. That thing. Oh, that, yeah. That, that thing. Like a feature in a, like a four foot. It's going to look awesome, isn't it? I'll tell like you, the main stone. 
Yeah, it would look cool. Just lower it in gently. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I that... might have to build a plinth out of like polystyrene or something, won't I? Yeah. I think so. A good cabinet as well. A good strong cabinet underneath. Aquaplanta. Yeah. There we go. All oh, good. New Malawi scape. Oh, yeah. Just with that one point out the top of the tank, then the yeah, others around yeah. it. Yeah. Oh. With peacocks. Yeah, we could do peacocks. We've got enough room, yeah? Yes. Go for it. Oh. Careful. This is absolutely massive. It's a cool piece, though, isn't it? I don't it? know where we can just put it there for the minute, I guess. <laughs> in the middle. To put this in a tank, it's going to need a nubbin cut off. And I think it'll yeah, go in there. Just there. Just literally that bit. Do you reckon we can snap that off for the minute, do you? Because it's. Got... Do you reckon it's that one? I've got a cutter, remember? Yeah, but if you snap it, it looks more natural. True. We, we can hack up the. Anyway, we've got loads <laughs> more rocks as well. You going to sit there for me? Yeah. This is the main feature piece of wood, and then we've got loads of other, yeah, cool Look at pieces that one. as well. I was trying to think of all the different sizes of tanks, so we've got options, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Some wicked manzanita, and then I've got more up on the shelf, so it can add to that. Because I'm thinking for the Akara, we can do like a tank yeah, from like one corner, you know? Lots of branches coming out. Yes. Yeah, that would look nice. This oh, one's yeah. like a standalone. Yeah, that's, yeah, I that's literally like an saw artistic. That. Couple of rocks at that end. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. tree style scape. 60 centimetre, two yeah. foot tank, and it's its own thing, isn't it? Yeah, it's done, isn't it? Love it. And then I've got these rocks down here. Yeah, I've never had these kind of rocks before, so I've got big ones, and then there's loads but of little small the, ones. It's the colour. Look at that. They go yeah, proper black. Very dark, don't they? Yeah, mm. with the flex in them. And they're all sort of like, it's kind of an artificial look, but I'm going to go for a contemporary style tank with it's that It's almost one. like lava stain, but rounded. Yeah. I'm it's gonna, cool. You don't see that often, do you? No. Not many volcanoes near the beach, I guess. <laughs> no, probably is. Apart from Hawaii. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, the whole of Hawaii. <laughs> I think a lot of volcanoes are near the beach, because obviously we're anyway. <laughs> the rhino skull. Oh, yeah, that one literally looks like a rhino, doesn't it? Yeah. Look at that. Or an elephant, maybe, some yeah, sort of yeah. prehistoric thing with I horns. Think no matter what piece of wood you pick up, you or somebody or me or whoever <laughs> will find it looks like something. That was a game we used to play in the shop all the time, was like, what can you find in the wood? Like, what shapes and what thing? And then we've got the rocks, of course. Mm. Yes, the rocks. If you smell... Look at that one. So I bought these as a group. Um, they were not cheap, but I think it's going to be so worth it because it's... Yeah, what I've got planned for it should be cool. I want to do like a Iwagumi with just yeah. those five pieces, but an easy growing carpet one. Nice, yeah, yeah, yeah. Using the um, pearl weed, you know? Yeah, nice. I've yeah, done yeah. it before, accidentally. I just let it keep going. And you just, oh. you never get rocks like this though, do you? you no. Say, like, where else do you get a piece of, what is it, elderly stone, isn't it? Yeah, Frodo, elderly. Frodo, I think yeah. Yeah, something like that. But where else do you get a piece that big? But just that, look. Look at that. Yeah, it's a two-man job. I can pick it up but not for long. Oh, well, that done. <laughs> I mean, that's not the best side. No. <laughs> it needs a clean, doesn't it, bless it? Look. To be fair, yeah, I've got wire brushes and stuff. But yeah. this has got, like, the, the more sort of whitey side. Yeah, like so the calcified could, sort yeah. of side. Yeah. I could probably tilt that backwards so that it's showing. I guess around there is clean, is it? Yeah, yeah, that oh, side's yeah, a bit more, like, rocky. That's the one. Cool. We're doing the big boy first. Yep. Watch your fingers. Ooh. Do you want to tilt him on this rock? Like there we go. Oh, it's heavy. <laughs> oh, it's, it's heavy. It's watting heavy. <laughs> I might have to beat that. Yeah. Oh, you and your Crocs, have they got steel toe caps? Yes, they do. So we've done some measurements. First time for everything. <laughs> yeah. And it turns out that this is like 70 to 80 centimetres in width at yeah. the widest point. But we need it to be 50, so... We're thinking just cut here. Yeah, and one here. This is the longest arm, so one there, one there. Just Yeah, just as we this go. This one will probably snap off, maybe. It should start falling off as we go, shouldn't it's it? It's really hard wood, it's isn't so it? It's so hard. It's like dense. It's the hardest wood ever. Yeah. I do remember cutting some of this with a chainsaw <laughs> once, and I blunted the chain. So, really? Yeah. I've got a brand new cutter, remember? I've yeah, a brand new once. saw will be fine, but yeah, I did. It's electric. So we've not got to do it by hand. OK. <laughs> Let's give it a go. Beautiful. I'm, I'm going to start here and just go that way. Yeah. Hopefully it works. Oh my oh. word. I've used it before. Yeah, uh, okay. I've got no eye protection on. Yeah, goggles, gloves. Just <laughs> close your eyes. <laughs> It'll be fine. I did buy some, but... We'll be back with you after this short break. No, I've got my eye protection. Oh, there we go. Eye protection, that's glasses. It's, well, it's better than none. I'll close my eyes. I close my eyes. Oh, Hang on, it's not nubbing. resting on the floor. 
There we go. Well, you changed my angle now. No, I'm sorry. There we go. Is that all right? Are you sure? Oh, you've gone in. You've gone in. Like a hot knife through butter. That actually worked a treat, didn't it? It's not done anything, though. No, you need to, I reckon, come through this one. Yeah. Going down there. Well, if I can get into that yeah, one. Yeah, just go, just get that bit off. Yeah. Oh, there's a lock on it yeah, as well. Yeah, it's a dead man switch. Oh. Right, we've cut away some good chunks. This one's a nice little piece on its own, actually. And you can just see how dense the wood is. It's nuts. It's like it's so really... solid. Yeah, it is. It's like, wow. Yeah. No wonder it doesn't ever break down. Yeah, exactly. Um, it does seem such a shame cutting up a 400 pound piece of wood. But the thing is that would never fit in any tank. No. So no. we needed to do something and I think this is the best of the situation. The other side is amazing anyway, so. Yeah, you won't even see. And then those bits you can see, bit of uh, fern or whatever. By the time we've scaped it, there won't be any of the wood left anyway. No, you can't see any can't of it. Just the bit that's out of the water. <laughs> well, we need to measure that again and we can put it in the tank. Or should we just try and sh stick it in? I think it's tank now. We're looking at the width of that. Yeah. Maybe. Give it a go. Right, we trimmed. That wasn't enough what you just saw. We had to go even further, but I think we've got it now. It looks ugly, not seeing that side. Will it fit? Will it fit? Actually, are you seeing that side? No. Ow! That bit was sharp. Everyone keeps moaning about you having to do all the heavy lifting as well. <laughs> Is this going in this tank? Yeah. Ready? Should I just go for a, like a, a, a lump? And... Do you want me to help? I think so. Okay. I'll try and do this whilst filming. This footage, oh, it is, this footage is going to be awful. <laughs> it just <laughs> fits. Oh my goodness, that looks immense. Absolutely massive. It's cool, isn't it? As soon as I saw that in there, I was like, I have to take this home. And the next question was, will it fit in the car? And it did. <laughs> wow. It might need, again, some more adjusting. It's I think this bottom bit almost, to like maybe angle it a bit. Yeah. Might be able to put a rock under there. I mean, we're not scaping now, but I just wanted to get it in the tank so it had somewhere to Looks to amazing, live. doesn't it? <laughs> it might be one that we only use for when the eight foots come. Will we have more? No, because it's going to be the same width, isn't yeah. it? It's going to make no odds. That, with a load of cardinals buzzing around. That it. would be flipping cool, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Just angled up, that's all? Yeah. Is that what you were saying? Or yeah, yeah. You, oh, just I thought like, you meant cutting it more. No, 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 no. So, yeah, rock underneath this point so that it sort of... Yeah, brings one way it, or the other. Yeah, twists it a little bit. Yeah, cool. Oh, there's a reindeer head. So that is the end of the video, guys. Make sure you're subscribed. In the next video, we're going to be taking that wood and scaping with it. Also, I'm going to be using a ton of dragonstone as well because I've got loads to use and I haven't done one for ages. It's going to look so good. See you on the next one.